Hi guys, Paul and Thomas here. Hi, and I just hit something. Did you? That's all right then. Uh, we've got flies galore in Australia. It's yeah, you got to fly in. The warmer place. weather's coming along and it's just terrible. Mm. Lots of bird life. Um, we learned that bees are attracted to cobras too. Thomas is going to be our flying Maya Vada, and this is my 3S Vada. Yes, the Super 3S though. It's not really a normal 3S. There isn't much No, it's, it's, as far as the 3S quad, it comes so close to 4S it's not funny. It's actually really, really good. And that's because the motors are running. It hasn't got the top end, but it's got grunt galore. Okay, uh, so what we're going to be doing is testing these batteries. These are the Hobby King Nanotech 1400s, aren't they? Yeah, these were the Traxxas batteries Traxxas before batteries. they got replaced with Multistar. Multistar. Now, most people still report that they preferred these older batteries than a Multistar. The Multistar are pretty good, but um, I still think these batteries are by far our best 3S batteries that we've ever had. Well, it sounds like the drop-off on these isn't anywhere near as harsh as the Multistar. Yeah, but what we've got is another battery to try out. This is also a 1300. And it's a 3S, and we're going to try that out. So Thomas is going to run one battery with uh, the Nanotex, and then we're going to try this battery. Um, and we're testing it at the moment, so we can't really reveal who it's from or whatever. But we will actually have the details in the description if they do actually release these batteries. But they've set these out for tests. So Thomas is going to test it out and see exactly how they um, yep. perform. And we also got another equivalent battery to that's in 1,000 milliamp hour. Yeah, we've got a 1,000 milliamp hour. Now, where that's going to come in really handy is if you're racing and you only have to do five laps, instead of going to uh, 1300, you could use a 1000 milliamp hour, which should have enough juice just to finish the race. If it's a tight track. If it's a tight track. Let's make it happen. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try out the Nanotech first and Tom's gonna get a feel for it and then report back on the other battery. Let's go. Yeah, this thing's running KISS ASCs, uh, 18 amps. It's a really beautiful aircraft to fly, isn't it? Yeah. I wish, I only wish we could put this thing on 4S. Uh, we'll have to change ESCs, that's all we've got to do, really. And I'd pin headers to the NAS board. Oh, I changed flight control, worst case scenario. It is really nice. <sighs> so these are the Traxxas nanotechs that we're using. Can you do a flight by sort of close to us? Just a nice straight run. Yeah. So we can sort of show people what this thing performs like. Here he comes. Check this out. It is a beautiful aircraft to fly. I'm not going to For a 3S, this is easily the best 3S aircraft there is around. We're running a Yi camera on this one only because uh, someone broke a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. <laughs> and you're all probably thinking, how could Thomas break it? It wasn't him, it was actually me. And it's the most unlucky crash too. Yeah, I know, it was a silly crash. But anyway, uh, well, we're good. Well, that is just like, how the hell did you manage to break the GoPro in that crash? Tell me about it. There's actually no damage on the GoPro physically at all. So the protective case protected it, um, but something's gone wrong internally. This thing's really nice to fly. So really try and remember what the sticks feel like, the power you've got, whether it gets any sag. Because we're going to be looking for feedback on these batteries. Now, from what I've been told, I've been told these batteries are supposed to be absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the graphs and the specs they've got on them, uh, what they've reported to me is that they're supposed to be really good. So we're going to find out how good they are. I've really got near appreciation for this thing on 3S. This aircraft's actually really nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie, if I didn't have 4S batteries, I would totally settle for having this. And I reckon in the open class, you could easily beat people with 4S with this thing. If you have the skill set. Bring her in. This is 30 degrees camera tilt, so it's gonna be a bit of a weird landing. Just ignore the bad landing, okay? It's actually quite good. Okay, was that nice? It was really nice actually. Let's go it's for a battery change. Hey, check this out. We've got the new black battery on there. Hopefully they keep this colour format. But she should be good to go. Yeah, they better keep that colour format because it is so nice. Okay, so we're going to make this happen? Yeah. 
Let's go, let's see how this compares to the other battery. Yes. Uh, a hover point. Okay, he's hovering. Not really hovering, but moving. So moving along at around about just above a quarter throttle. Wow. How does you feel? It's definitely a lot more hyperactive. More punchy? It's just more responsive. Oh, that does actually look more. I'm trying to figure out whether it's my imagination or not. It doesn't look like it, does it? It's like a. It's not necessarily like faster as top end speed goes. But the throttle response. The throttle response, yeah, like everything happens quicker. Like it's got the, the reactiveness of the 4S. Like when you get Check go this to out. Go on. Like when you get a 4S here, yeah, one of the big things that I noticed was it didn't feel overly more sensitive, but it was so much more locked in because it would just react quicker. And that's what this feels like. It has that really big reactivity of a 4S but in the 3S size which is actually really nice someone on the walking track so make sure okay. to go there yep this is our new playground hardly anyone ever comes here it's fantastic yeah these are really nice look it's a strange feeling I don't feel like I've got the same like more top end I don't think you can have top end because you're still limited to 3S. the 3S and the uh, KVs of your motors. You've got 2000 KV motors, sorry, 2001. Um, 2001. Yes, so that's not going to change, but realistically, having that higher C rating is going to make a difference. Look, it's definitely more responsive, that's for sure. So, you, would you like it to when we fly our micros? Those um, two batteries we've got? It's a bit more noticeable than that, I reckon. Okay, so it's bigger again. Look, the difference between the micros is that those beta batteries don't actually sag. That's the thing that I noticed. With this one, though, you can actually feel it, everything happening quicker. There's a fly in my nose. Here we go. Thank you. Um, is this... Everything happens quicker, like... It just responds so much faster than what most 3S batteries do. Almost like whatever chemical reaction is happening in the battery to, you know, give you these, or give you the electricity, is happening quicker. Unfortunately, this is going to be not my GoPro Hero Black Edition. Actually, there's one thing I have noticed. What? It's saying critical voltage. I haven't sagged yet. I'm okay. not feeling any sag yet. We'll bring her in. You're still going forward. I'm sagging. Um, so, your thoughts on the battery? That was weird. It didn't sag that whole time until I was actually landing. Okay. There was actually no sag. Um, and I went for... How long is your time set for two? Uh, Let's find out. Battery level. It went almost for the full four minutes. Battery wow, that's impressive. On 3S. On 3S. That's battery impressive. Level. Impressive. So, there you go. So, hopefully, uh, they do actually release these batteries. And if they do, we will have a link in the description for these. Um, but, there you go. So... It's definitely going to give you an edge in a race, that's for sure. A secret battery that we're testing. Actually, it's not too warm either. Really? Because the, the major things I noticed was, and I was talking about this a lot, was you put the throttle on, it'll react a lot quicker, yeah? And it was, you could feel the reaction. So it had more punchiness. Definitely. And also, it didn't sag until the, that last bit there when I was coming in, and I didn't disarm, I was coming in, all of a sudden it just dropped. Okay. So, okay. it has the drop off for sure, but, I mean, that was three minutes, 50 seconds of flying. That's impressive. Impressive. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. See ya.